6.4, Optimization Problems 1, Creating a Model. So this section will basically tell you how to set up or show you how to set up the equations. Um, the next section, um, and graph them, and the next section what you'll be doing is actually optimizing, figuring out what the values are. So because we're just basically setting them up, and most of them work the same way, I'm just going to work through one example. And the example I'm going to go is I'm going to work through the check your understanding question on page, uh, page 330 and just question number two because most of the questions are set up the same way as this one. So question two says a fast food concession stand sells hot dogs and hamburgers. So we have hot dogs. Hot dogs and hamburgers. I'm going to use burgers so that I have two variables, B and H, B and H. First thing you have to do is you have to figure out, okay, what variable am I gonna use for each? So I have H and B. First thing it says, it says daily sales can be as high as $300 for the boat, for both. So sales for both can be as high as $300. That means less than or equal to $300. But what does that mean in terms of an equation? Well, sales for both of them. That means both of them combined. It doesn't mean I'm going to multiply them. It means I'm actually going to add them. So if I sell a certain number of hot dogs and a certain number of burgers, it has to be less than or equal to 300. The next thing, the next point says the stand has room to stock no more, no more than 200 hot dogs. So the hot dogs, the number of hot dogs has to be less than or equal to 200 because it says no more than. And no more than 150 burgers. So my burgers have to be less than or equal to 150. So these are my basic functions. These are the ones I'm going to be using in order to draw my graph. The question goes on and says hot dogs are sold for $3.25 and hamburgers are sold for $4.75. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to have your objective function. Which isn't going to be used in the graph, but it is going to be used in next chapter because we're going to be trying to optimize this objective function. And my objective function, what I could say is for my profits, it's going to equal, be equal to $3.25 for every hot dog, every hot dog that's sold, plus every burger that's sold, I'm getting $4.75 for each burger. So money values, the money is kind of kept separate from the number of hot dogs or the number of burgers, the number of tickets, whatever you have. And instead of writing profits here, we could just write P equals 325H plus 475B. So what does this look like on a graph? So what I've done is I've, I've shown the graph here. Um, I have my objective functions. Most of these have implied restrictions as well. And the implied restrictions are basically that my number of hot dogs has to be greater than or equal to zero, and my number of burgers also has to be greater than or equal to zero. All that means is that I'm not looking at any negative values, so my graph can just look like this. It's everything above zero and everything to the right of zero. Nothing to the left of zero and nothing below. So I'm only dealing with positive. These are implied, what are called implied restrictions. Sometimes they ask for them, um, other times not really. So I'm going, to gra I'm going to graph these now. The first one I have is h plus b is less than or equal to 300. If I was to kind of rearrange the variables, I could have something like this. h is less than or equal to negative b plus 300. Okay, so I moved the b over, and the 300 is positive, so it's plus. What that means is that my uh, intercept on my h is up at 300. And what is my slope? It means it's a negative 1 over 1 slope. It's got to have a negative slope. I could have also solved this for b, though, and said b is less than or equal to negative h plus 300. This time I'm looking on a different axis. I'm looking on my b-axis. And my b-axis also has an intercept of 300. So that line is going to go straight down all the way. Let me just grab a ruler here. 
straight down all the way to the end. So it's going to go from one side to the other. That's one, my first line. Okay. So basically, you look at the 300, you say, okay, that's going to be the intercept on both my H and my B, right? Because if I, if I blocked out the B, then it's H equals 300. If I block out the H, then it's B equals 300. Next one. H has to be less than or equal to 200. So H on my H axis, oh, I guess I should have labeled these, right? H and B. So let's say these are hot dogs and these are burgers. All right, so my H is going to be less than or equal to 200. So on my hot dogs, here at 200, I'm going to have a straight up and down line. Again, use a ruler and draw a straight line all the way down. And the last one, B is less than or equal to 150. So 150 is up here on my burger axis. And again, draw a straight line for that one. And once you have all your lines placed, we know that it has to be less than or equal to the top line. So that's anything below. Anything below that slanted line. I also know that it has to be less than or equal to 200, which is this line here. So it's got to be everything to the left of that 200 line. And I also know that it's got to be less than or equal to the 150 line, the top line that we drew up there. So it's going to be less than or equal to that one. So basically the region that we're looking for is in here. That I'm drawing in orange. Because it's got to be less than the slanted line. I'll do it in black so it's a bit easier to see. It's got to be less than the top line, which is 150. It's got to be less than the slanted line, which is the uh, H plus B, and it's got to be less than the 200 line for hot dogs. Okay, so it's in this region right here in black, just in that region there. So we've graphed the lines, we've shown what region it is in, and we're ready basically to solve the objective function, which I have right here, which is our profit function. Um, and that's what we'll be doing next chapter, is basically just figuring out, okay, how do I solve that um, that function there. But for right now, just setting it up, graphing it, making sure you can find out what your region is, and, your, and dry, uh, writing out your restrictions.